This is Rory Canny, and this is Favorite Game Friday, where we have a group of controllers with completely different tastes in gaming talk about their favorite game in the category of the week. This way, we're taking it off to the races. This is all about racing games. So make sure to leave in the comments down below what game you like that has racing mechanics where you're trying to get to finish lines or trying to make it around a board and things like that. So let's get to the contributors' clips. Hi, everyone. My favorite racing games are Downforce and Steampunk Rally. Although this year we have a new contender, and that's Cubitos. Think of it as Quacks of Quiddlingburg mixed with dice and racing. It's just fun. Bye, everyone. What's up, everybody? This is Eric at the Meeple's Republic, and this week on Favorite Game Friday, we are talking about racing games. And the game that I want to talk about is called Snow Tales. In Snow Tales, you are racing sled dog teams around a modular board that's covered in snow. It's got a really neat dynamic where you have to play certain numbered cards if your dogs are going to pull one way or the other way. Really interesting. That's my pick of the week. I'll see you guys next week. Oh, oh, blue balls, oh, chills, oh, headache, oh, cough. My favorite racing game is Bristol 1350. You love to die. My favorite racing game is The Climbers. Delicious. Bye. Race to the... I'm Jenny. And I'm Ray. And we're Weber Family Reviews. And my favorite racing game is actually Ave Caesar, but you need three people. And we actually just got that before the pandemic happened. So instead, I picked a game we did recently play, which is Snow Tales. Um, and this is super appropriate since Iditarod just ended. And it comes with these cute little sleds. And uh, it matters which way you go and how your dogs pull. So it's a lot of fun and it plays two player. And my favorite game is actually a racing game. I like bag building a lot, and I really like automobiles. I think it's an underrated racing game. So that's what we got. Happy Friday. Hey, folks, this is Chris from Hidden Gems, a board game podcast where we review unusual, forgotten, and underappreciated board games. And for this week, the theme is racing games. And I want to share a really fun racing game with you all, published in 2010 by Ustari Games, and that's Asteroids. In Asteroids, the players are racing to pilot their ships through space to four different gates present on the board. What's unique about the game is these gates and the asteroids on the board will be moving throughout play. On a player's turn, they'll roll three different colored dice and then they will program their movements on a board. After they've programmed their movements, the asteroids and the gates present on the board will move as determined by the dice rolls. After the asteroids have moved, the players will move their ships hoping that they anticipated the movement of the asteroids correctly so they don't take damage. Uh, if you take too much damage in the game, your ship explodes and then you're out of the game. In my opinion, racing games should be very fun and frenetic and have a little bit of zaniness to them, and Asteroids has that in spades. I really enjoy the fun, frenetic pace of this game. If you ever have an opportunity to play it, I really recommend it. Uh, and that's it for this week. Have a great Friday. Hey everyone, I'm Vic. I'm Nick. And we are Envy Board Gaming. And today for Favorite Game Friday, my favorite racing game involves camels Mario jumping over each other to assert their dominance across the finish line in Camel Up. Great pick. I'm going to go with a game called Oracle of Delphi. In Oracle of Delphi, you're doing a bunch of actions, you're pick up and delivering a bunch of stuff, but ultimately you want to get to Zeus first. Let's go, guys. Yellow one. <laughs> Our favorite racing game is Downpour. Hit the NOS! Is it working? What's up, guys? This is Gabriel from Board Games and Barbells, a YouTube and Instagram account where I talk about my passion for board games along with exercising and staying healthy. So this week, it is all about racing games. And I love racing games, but one, of course, stuck out in my head, and that game would be Camel Up. So you might be thinking, um, is this a racing game? It is not the traditional, hey, I'm this person and I need to race and get to the end of the finish line or cross the finish line. It is a game about betting on camels. So maybe I just like to gamble. Either way, um, you are betting on camels, and that's one of my favorite things about this game is, hey, it's not your person trying to get across the finish line, it's 
hey, I'm going to bet on this camel. Uh, hopefully they, they win the leg. Hopefully they win the race. If not, I'm going to bet on another camel. Either way, this game is one of those games. It plays three to eight people. And the table presence is unreal. You've got palm tree, a palm tree sticking up. Um, it's, it's amazing. I don't know if I said it, but it is the second edition. And um, awesome components. I mean, look at this. That's amazing. That's amazing. The, the camels are chunky, really nice plastic pieces. Um, it plays three to eight players. So, you know, when I've got a, a group of, let's say, five, six, seven, um, I'm going to play some light, fun, camel up as a go-to. So good luck betting on your camels. I hope they win. I hope you get the most Egyptian pounds um, to become the victor of the game and um, win your bets on Camel Up with the camel races. Guys, I uh, hope you have an awesome Friday. And remember, keep playing games and go get those gains. Happy, Happy favorite, favorite game Friday. Friday. I'm Jay. And I'm Chantel. And we're, we're the, the Love Meeples. Meeples. This week's favorite game Friday topic is... Racing. And my favorite racing game is Downforce. And my favorite racing game is Camel Up. Join us every Tuesday night and Friday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on Twitch, where we play some interactive games, and Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern. Till next week, have a great one. Hey everybody, this is our one year anniversary of making clips for Favorite Game Friday, so uh, we decided that the three of us would come and do this one. So, uh, my pick for racing game is Karuba. It's a game where you're racing to these temples using, uh, using a bingo style to put the tiles down on your own board, and usually whoever gets to the temples first is going to win the game and get the most points. Mine is Downforce, because you can buy your cars, but sometimes they aren't so good, so you just bet on all the other ones. My pick is Fly Feast, and you're racing, you've got a bunch of flies, and you're racing to the poop. Yeah, that's the weirdest, uh, one of the weirdest themed games we yeah, have. Yeah, so. it's, it's really weird. Yeah, it's, it's, but it's fun. So, happy Friday, everybody. See you next time. Hey, everyone. I'm Raphael. I'm Callie. And I'm Luna. And, and we're, we're the, the Board, board game, game Buddies. Yeah. And for today's theme, we chose Odin's Ravens. Why do you like Odin's Ravens, Luna? Because it's a pretty slush bunny paper. You like the little meeples? What about you, Callie? What do you like about the game? I also like the meeples. What I really like about it, though, is how quick it is to play. You can play it like in between other games and it's just a fast and fun game. So they're little raven meeples. Yeah, but for me they look like little bunny people. Cause the, See? Okay. Because they're like connected and they're not like really that thin. So I like Odin's Ravens because it makes you feel clever. In the game, you can draw up to eight Loki cards, which kind of change the rules of the game. So if you time it right, you can pull a fast one on your opponent. And the goal of the game is to be the first one to race around the loop. Check it out. That's Odin's Ravens. Bye, buddies. Bye. I'm Tim. And I'm Doug. And we're from Chocolate Covered Games. Drivers, start your engines. For this week, my favorite game is Rallyman GT. And mine is Monza. Hi, and welcome to Favorite Game Friday. I'm David. I'm Julie. And we're Mocha and Meeple Board Games. Today on Favorite Game Friday, we're talking about racing games, our favorite racing games. And my favorite racing game is Downforce, where you get to race little cars around the track, playing your cards, trying to make other people get stuck in the uh, bottlenecks, and then betting on who's going to win the race. It's a great game. Uh, and it's a lot of fun to play with family and friends. Uh, you can just play a bunch of games at, at, at one time. And also, uh, my favorite part is when you can make your car hit the jumps. My favorite game is Robo Rally. You get to play as a little robot running around a racetrack, shooting down obstacles or people, and trying to get to the finish line first. Um, it's a great game. You always hope 
that your program goes <laughs> as you planned it. Sometimes it doesn't, but that makes it just an exciting game um, to see what really is going to happen. So happy gaming, happy Friday. Hi, Twice the Nice Dice here, and today's uh, mechanic is racing games, or games that have racing in them. My favorite is Clank. You're racing to get the artifact and back up before you die. Yep. Mine is Loot and Run. You try and make the race to get 35 points, unless it's six players, you want 30. And my favorite racing game is a race to get to the middle of the pyramid. In Luxor, you're collecting your people to get into the middle, and you're hopefully getting all the artifacts along the way. Bye! Hey everyone, we're LDG, I'm Brooks. I'm Kitty. And I'm Lizzie. And we are a group of friends that play games remotely almost every day. Um, and today is Favorite Game Friday, and we are talking about racing. So, my favorite racing game is actually Splendor. Uh, it was one of the first sort of set collection games I was introduced to. It's also really easy to introduce to like friends and family that don't really game much. You know, my mom's addicted to the app. Um, I love the theme. I love the artwork. So that's just my favorite one. What exactly are you racing in it? Um, well, Board Game Geek listed it as a race game, so don't come at me. <laughs> okay, kitty. Whatever you say. Okay. Um, and mine is Carcassonne Amazonas. Um, I love all the Carcassones now, but uh, this is actually the very first one I was introduced to. Thank you, Busy. Um, I'm not usually a fan of the racing mechanic, uh, but she kind of slowly introduced me to it with this, because you have the river that runs through the tableau that you're building, and um, it's just it's it takes what's usually nice a nice chill tile lane game and adds a little bit of spice to it. So I really like that. Yes, and it is so beautiful to look at. It really it's, is. And my favorite is Snow Tales. It is a card management game where you're trying to decide how to exactly set up your cards so that you can drift the right way, or maybe you want to use it on a break. So it's just, it's really interesting, really thinky. And then I also like that the map is not set. You actually have different tiles that you can flip, making it harder or easier, as well as a different setup every time you play. And of course we have a bridesmaid. This week it is Odin's Raven. We love this one because it is a nice quick filler type game that you can just relax, zone out, your brain has been burned. This one <laughs> is one that you can just go around racing your birds. So until next time, just remember to have fun. Be present. And be you. Hi, it's Josh from the YouTube channel Josh Yaks. Eight months ago on my channel, I made a video about my top 10 racing games. And it's interesting to note that my top two racing games were both deck building games. We have the Quest for El Dorado, which is a pure racing game. And then there's Clank, a deck building adventure in which the racing part is just one element of the bigger picture. What's my favorite racing game? Escape. The Curse of the Temple. It's a cooperative dice rolling game where the, uh, everybody tries to race out and escape the temple. Hey friends and gamers, it's Frenchie and it's Friday. Good to see everyone again. We're talking about racing games this week. No, we're not talking about the race to get games. You know, those first 48 hours get that exclusive content on Kickstarter. No, these are games that have to do with racing. So one of my favorite ones from a nostalgic standpoint is When Plays Your Show. I checked this out in the library. It's not that copy, but I've checked this out uh, when I was a kid, and that started my board gaming career at a very young age. But my favorite game is actually a game I don't own, and that's called Whitewater. It's a game of whitewater rafting, going down and racing down the rapids, maybe bumping the other rafters into an area where they get caught up in the current, making sure you can hold on to your paddle and don't lose it down the river. It's not the greatest game, but this is not about the greatest game. This is about favorite games. It's a zany game, chaotic, lots of fun. I encourage you to check it out. That's Whitewater. Everyone, have a fantastic weekend and play nice. Hi, I'm Libby. And I'm Julian. And we are from the YouTube channel Boxed Meeples. Today we're talking about racing games. And when you think about racing games, probably the first thing that comes to mind is Formula D. A good kind of representation of Formula One, but very much based on luck. A similar game is Pitch Car, but that's involving flicking. So kind of more tactical and uh, more skill-based in a way. Another one that I like, even though I'm not 
really a massive racing games fan um, is camel up i find that it's good with families and children they enjoy stacking the camels and taking the dice out of the pyramid section and also quite good if you've got a group of people where some are gamers and some aren't so much so it's quite a good introductory game yeah i find camel up improves and becomes much more tactical the more expansions you throw at it but be aware if you've got the new revised version the old expansions don't work with it For me, I'm just gonna have to say Downforce. This is an awesome game where you're trying to figure out how to get your racer in the front and bet on the correct racer that's gonna win the race. Hey, favorite game Friday, Jared here from Meeple Mentor YouTube channel where we teach you how to play board games. And since this week we're talking about racing games, I gotta talk about this game I just played that, I mean, this came out last year. It's called Rallyman GT. And just look at that, look at that art. On the back, you get to make your own race tracks, you can race other players, you can even do solo races and compare your times online. Um, and it has, you know, dice that you try to plan out your route, which uh, refers to like shifting gears, and it just really captures the experience of, you know, racing in a GT uh, high speed race. So if you have the chance to play this, I highly recommend for racing Rallyman GT. Kimberly from Tabletop Tolson here, and if you watched last week's video, you know I love horse racing games. Now, I do like car racing games, so my pick is Downforce. It has a clever use of cards for car movement, and there are cool expansions like Animal Crossing and ramps. Oh, hey, Keegan. Did I miss it? Oh, good. Okay, so my favorite racing game is a team game. In code names, players are going to try to guess their words before the other team guesses their words. Now you have to watch out for the assassin though, but this is a really, really fun race to the finish. Assalamu alaikum. When it comes to racing games and I look at my collection, I get to realize that maybe racing is the mechanism that I love the most, or at least one of my favorite ones. I have Camel Up, I have Jamaica, I have Quest for El Dorado, but the game that I love the most when it comes to racing is Downforce. Pure racing game with the car mechanics where you're trying to play the cards, which moves not only your cars, but your opponent's cars as well. And you're trying to manage that how can you move your opponents in such a way that they get blocked and you get to move out of the way as quickly as possible. Lovely game, easily recommended. Happy gaming! Hi everyone, I'm Nathan. I don't know of any solo racing games. If you know of one, please let me know. But, my favorite racing games when I do have other people around are Robo Rally and Downforce. Our favorite racing game is... Downforce, especially with the little Mario Kart minis. It's a go! It's always interesting to see different themes in games and racing is an interesting mechanic and theme for board games. There's all sorts of different cool ones out there. So make sure to leave in the comments below your favorite racing game, especially if it wasn't one that was mentioned here today. We wanna to say thank you so much to all of our amazing contributors here on Favorite Game Friday. We have people from all around the world joining in. And if you wanna join in on Favorite Game Friday, make sure to check out the Google Drive link down below. We're not gonna be doing Favorite Game Friday next week, but the week after that, we're gonna be talking all about games that have tons of different ways to get victory points. So point salad style games, if there's a game that has just a bunch of different ways to score, make sure to leave that in the Google Drive down below for two weeks from now and it'd be awesome to have you join in on Favorite Game Friday then. Well thanks for joining us, I'll see you on the next one.